And so now that they're done uploading, I can see them here. And you can even watch the video right from Photoprism. So I can go in and organize if I like. So I have, you know, game fo folder, kittens folder. And you can also see that it's starting to add tags like nature, cat. Uh, we did get a dog, dog <laughs> on this one. Hey, I'm Lana Lux, a Linode developer advocate. Today we're going to be setting up Photoprism using Umbrel and Linode. Photoprism is a really great way to store and organize your photos. It's an AI-powered photo app for the decentralized web. It can tag and find photos automatically, which makes searching for images very easy. It recognizes faces and can organize photos based on the content and location of them. Photoprism is independent and they promise to never share your data and to be transparent about how they work. This is reassuring to anyone who's concerned about privacy or how your data is being used, which should be everyone, but if it's important enough to you to seek alternative options, then this is probably an app that you'll appreciate. While there is a paid subscription model, there's also a free option, and that's what we're going to be looking at today. Let's take a look at how to set it up. We're going to be looking at setting up Photoprism on Umbrel using Linode, so if you haven't already done that, check out our previous video, which will walk you through that step. You can find that video in the link in the description. Once you've set up Umbrel and logged in, we're going to head to the App Store, we're going to find Photoprism here, and click Install. It'll take a few minutes to set up, but once it's ready, it'll say Open, so go ahead and click that. You can also find it on our dashboard here. Here we have the admin and password. Um, what we need for this is to simply go over to our App Store and click on Photoprism, and you'll find the default password right here. So copy that and paste it in under the admin as username. And there we go. It was, it's that easy. We're here and we can start using it. Let me show you how this can be super useful. But wait, security first. We're going to set up a custom password. Also, to be fair, it's going to be a lot easier to type it in in the next step. So heading back to Photoprism, we can go over to our settings here using the cog icon and in account on the top right, it asks us for a current password, new, and a retype. And that's all I need to do to change it over. So I'm using an Apple phone with a Windows PC. So sharing photos across the two operating systems can sometimes be a little bit annoying. Um, and regardless of whether or not that's an issue for you, being able to access your photos from your phone and your desktop um, together and sharing that across the two, especially through a browser, is super cool. Um, it also means you can log in anywhere if you don't have your device and still access them. So since we're running Umbrel on a Linode, um, I can actually navigate to that with my phone um, by just typing that IP address into my browser, you can see that that takes me to Umbrel on my phone. Once I log in to Umbrel, I can then click on Photoprism and log in using admin and the password that we set up. And so now that they're done uploading, I can see them here and you can even watch the video right from Photoprism. Also, while you're using it, you can see here that it sorts the videos, it sorts um, the album I made, um, you can see that it put them into the different months right away. I didn't have to do that. So there's a lot of things that it does automatically, including searching. So you can see just from uploading it that there are a number of things. You can pop this out from here. There are a number of things that it does automatically, like sorting things into folders based on months. Uh, it's separated videos. You can click into them and see them. You can, you know, open them separately and navigate like a gallery and so on. <laughs> of course, you can also upload from your desktop and it will be available on here. So let's go ahead and do that real quick. Um, click on the upload button. I can navigate to the images I want on my desktop. So I'm uploading some images from the game I'm making, and that way I can also have them on my phone if I need them. And those automatically uploaded by month. So I can go in and organize if I like. So I have, you know, game fo folder, kittens folder, and you can also see that it's starting to add tags like nature, cat. 
uh we did get a dog dog <laughs> on this one but for the most part it's doing a pretty good job um considering it is kind of acting dog like on its hind legs so that's a pretty fair fair one i think and there we have it um that's pretty much it for photo prism if this video was helpful, don't forget to leave a like, and don't forget to subscribe! There's plenty more tutorials on using Linode tools, including more videos setting up apps on Umbrella using Linode. Thanks for watching, we'll see you next time!